here at Keystone with head coach Ryan Smith in his first year. Ryan, why don't you introduce the guys you've got with you? Sure. Today we have senior offensive lineman, defensive lineman Zach Kellerman, also a kicker for us. Uh, we have Brandon Kopp, also a senior. He's a senior wide receiver, linebacker, punter, and anything else we need Brandon to do. And I have junior quarterback, defensive back, Isaac Jones. Uh, Ryan, talk a little bit about how the transition's going for you as a coach and you know what, what are you learning? How do you feel right now as you uh, head into the last week of practice? Sure, yeah, we had uh, a really good week of heat acclimation. We had a great week of double days. Um, it's The transition is going pretty good uh, because these guys all played junior high football for me. I was uh, the junior high, head junior high football coach here for five years. And these guys know the type of offense I like to run. And they're really picking up on everything really fast and applying it really well. Isaac, the offense is different than what you guys mm -hmm. were running. Um, how do you feel it's going for you personally and, and for the team? You know, I feel I've gotten uh, pretty comfortable with it now that we've been uh, going over it uh, all summer, almost every day. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to uh, pick up on it, and um, it's a lot different than last year, obviously. Zach, you and I kind of talked off the air about some of the blocking schemes and some of that sort of stuff. Um, how do you feel that you guys are starting to pick up some of that, and where do you think it's going to take you guys? Well, I feel with us having basically the same line ever since junior high, this offensive scheme, even though it is new, it is relatively easy to learn, but it's also going to get the plays done. Uh, the ability to, what, what should we see from that offense? Uh, we should see ground and pound. And then we got a great wide receiver core, so mm -hmm. if we need to pass the ball, we're going to move it down the field. Um, Ryan, what would you say your philosophy offensively is? Sure, you know, being a CL grad and uh, coaching in a CL program for years, it's a deep, deep playbook. And uh, I had a privilege to learn a lot of that from Coach Clyde Connie and uh, Coach Todd Smith. They've taught me tons through the year, as well as Coach Reed uh, under his tenure here at Keystone which I was very grateful for. Uh, I learned a lot from him and to combine it all together, uh, we have multiple looks, multiple weapons, multiple things that we can do at different times. Um, then defensively, what are you guys trying to accomplish on defense? We're just trying to settle that line, knock it back a few yards and keep everything in the backfield that we can. Ryan, do you guys want to be an aggressive defense? Are you going to sit back maybe a little bit, uh, give up some yards, but not the big plays? What's the idea? Yeah, we want to be disciplined. Um, having Jason Nellis as my defensive coordinator, thats I've given him full reign of the defense, and he's got a great defensive mind. Uh, we want to be aggressive to you know, hold that line and not give up big plays. Uh, we want to be disciplined against counters, uh, against pass plays down the field. We want to be sound technicians in our areas. And, and doing our jobs, each each player doing their job for their position on the field. Isaac, what should we expect from the defense? <clears throat> well, our uh, secondary is looking pretty good, I think. Um, our front line, <laughs> uh, we have a few guys, actually, uh, all of them who blow things up pretty pretty well. So that should be very good. We have a really deep uh, linebacking crew too. Multiple depth there. Um, a lot of kids that can play, they're not afraid to step up and, and uh, make the tackle and do their job. New conference this year. You guys maybe got the long straw here as a, as a double-A school getting to play in the small school division. But look, I mean, even when we're talking about that, you guys really got the size of basically a, a team size of a lot of those A schools. Um, are you looking forward to this? I mean, this is really different for you, Ryan, considering that you know you came through CL, the KSAC, you've coached in the KSAC, and now it's a, it's a little bit different of a look. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I guess we're only a double-A school by two kids. I think we were told we're the second smallest double-A school in the whole state of Pennsylvania, but really we are a class-A school. But uh, I'm excited to go check out different schools. Uh, you know, I've it's been fun playing in the KSAC, going to Carn City, Montauk, Clarion, which I'll miss playing Clarion, but going to be able to go to Port Allegheny, be able to go to Sheffield on a Saturday afternoon game. I was privileged to play in a Saturday afternoon game when I played, and that was a pretty cool experience. 
and uh, going up to Wolverine Stadium or Wolverine Mountain on a Saturday, that's going to be a great experience for these guys. And uh, going to uh, Smithport, you know, I got to be uh, when CL was in the playoffs against Smithport, I got to go check out Smithport's field, but it's it's a it's, it's a cool place to go back to, and and just being able to go to like Cameron County, all these different schools that you never see, you never get to play. We're really excited to go play these different schools and check out different stadiums and and uh, experience that. Guys, uh, it's a little bit of a longer trip than what you guys are used to. Uh, have you given any thought to maybe how you're going to mentally prepare yourselves? For me, I'm I'm going to take my um, notebook along with me, and I'm just going to look at that the entire way there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get my mind right, basically. Ryan, as a, from a coach's perspective, do you have to think through this a little bit more, how you're going to do some things, how you're going to feed them, how you're going to travel, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, we have a great boosters here at Keystone, which I'm very, very grateful for, where we're going to be uh, receiving through the boosters some uh, fruit and uh, vegetables and, and good things like good pre-game snack foods on the bus, and then our boosters are going to feed us after the game for that long bus trip back. Uh, we're going to try and leave at a good time to be able to arrive at least an hour and a half or so before game time to to get, you know, when you get kind of tired and, and sitting around on a bus for a long time, to get there early, to get our feet moving. And, uh, you know, I want these guys to be thinking about what we need to do that night on, on the running through situations in their mind uh, as they're on that bus ride.